Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back. So today we're going to talk about the if DAX and how it's not as efficient as you might think and how we can transition it to a switch DAX expression instead. All right, so just for a quick class, so how if works, you have to take the DAX expression and then repeat it every single time for every single condition that you're looking at. Whereas with switch, you could just take the criteria that you're looking at and then identify the result and then just continue that sequence until you exhaust all your criteria. But enough with the talking, I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so within this table, we have score. So it's gonna range from 50 to about 100. And what we wanna do is take all these scores and then bracket them based upon the actual grading scale. Now you can do this for any data points that you have. We can also look at other things as well, incorporating more than one column, but we're gonna stick with one just for now. So all we're gonna do is click on column tools, then new column, we're just gonna call this grade equals, we're gonna say switch. It's gonna ask me for my expression. We're gonna say true, then we're gonna say the first value. So what do we wanna look at first? It's gonna be score is greater than or equal to 90 is going to be A. And I'm just gonna move it to the second line just so you can see exactly what I'm looking at here. Next thing we're gonna do is score once again greater than or equal to 80. We're gonna say B. I'm just gonna repeat this real quick. And just like that, we have our entire switch statement. So we're just gonna run this real quick and see what we get. And now we have a result for all of our grades. So just like that, that's all it takes. If you wanna translate a score into an actual lookup value, you can easily do that with switch rather than inputting a if statement in front of every single criteria and then specifying that result as well. All right, so with that said, hopefully this video helped you out. Let me know your thoughts down below. And actually in the next one, what we're gonna do is go into switch with two columns and how we can integrate more than one column within our DAX expression as well. Stay tuned.